Hello people of the internet. Well, here they are again. The Are They Aren't They Prismacolor pencils. And as of recording this video, my previous video, determining whether these pencils that I bought from Timo are real or not, has had 50,000 views. And so today is the day that I'm going to swatch these and compare them to these, which is... <laughs> unsealed, still in their box, a brand new set of Prismacolor 150 pencils bought from Amazon. So we will see how they compare, if they're the same, and try to determine if these are real or are fake. The other thing is I have contacted um, Prismacolor customer service themselves and I've had quite a bit of information from them and I've also been contacted or have been in contact with the manufacture of fake Prismacolors in China. So stick around <laughs> because maybe, just maybe, we'll determine if these are real, if they're not, who was right, who was wrong. It's the follow up to the story and hopefully the end of the speculation. Okay, so let's start. So you will see when I open this box, there is one color missing. That is the hot pink. Um, I was contacted by someone who wanted me to send them some of the pencils to verify them um, which I wasn't going to do because obviously meh. so I ended up agreeing to send one pencil to them so they could compare it to theirs and, and whatever um, I was hoping that they would have sent it back by now so that I could you know we're over a month on since I sent it and it would have been nice to have had the pencil back I haven't had the pencil back um, so a couple of things that I'm going to address from the beginning. A few people said you should have sharpened them to see how they sharpened. You should have sharpened them to see how the wood um, splintered and how the tips, um, if the tips broke or not. And in the video, I did sharpen the ones I was using. I said in the video I was going to sharpen them and then I put them in the sharpener and I cut out the bit where I was grinding the... Um, sharpener because no one wants to hear that <laughs> and they I showed you them sharpened I held the points up to show that I had sharpened them and so you can see that's a non-sharpened one from the set and that's a sharpened one that I sharpened from the set okay so that's those bits ironed out yes I did sharpen the ones I was using yes there is one missing it's been sent to them so now what I'm going to do is open the set that I bought off of Amazon to compare these two oh there was one more thing um people were asking how did i know that my originals were real <laughs> and these uh, were not fake my original prisma colors i bought um over 10 years ago and i'm trying to remember exactly when uh 1990 2000, 1999, 2000, I bought them from an art and craft show from a major art retailer who at the time was a stockist of Prismacolor. They had an enormous array of the 24 tins, the 48 tins, the 72 tins. They were a great price for the UK. In fact, they was, they was comparable to Amazon, which when you go to a, a, a show, is always a good price and I bought myself then the 72 uh, set and you can tell that mine are real because look oh they're cracking just like they do um, I then supplemented my 72 set with um, open stock from one of the three companies in the UK that still open stock Prismacolors and I will have all three of those listed down below now this one here, this one here as you can see is cracked and it is one of the open stock ones that I bought. And then the others that came in the 72 set, they're alright. So how do I know that my original ones are real? Because I bought them before Chinese factories were producing pencils the way they are today. And really back then there was no such thing as fake Prismacolors, they were just Prismacolor pencils. Okay, so let's open the box that's in here, and I'll do that off camera because this is, 
won't fit under. It's a huge box from Amazon. I shall try and do it. Right, let's move this one out of the way. I don't have that much desk space. Uh, let's open this. It's quite excited. I have been waiting to record this video for some time because I was waiting to hear back from Prismacolor themselves. I was waiting to hear back from someone in China. I was also waiting to hear back from the person that I sent the pencil to. Um, so it would be, so I had, I had the complete information before I recorded the video, um, which is why it's taken so much longer than, than I wanted it to, because I literally ordered these, you know, two days after my review went, went live. All right, here we go. Let's move the big box. <gasps> okay. So, can I compare the two together? Yes, I can. Okay. So, do they look the same? Apart from the polythene's on one at the moment. Pretty much do. I'll get the polythene off in a second. Let's turn them over. Oh. I don't really want to turn that one over. Okay, look, okay, we have something different. Do, 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 we have something different. This is, oh, that's a sticker. I can feel it's a sticker. I was gonna say, that's a white thing on the top, but that's a sticker. Oh, you know what it probably is? They've printed the boxes, you can't see. They've printed the boxes with the original lilac and lavender on it and then had to do a sticker for all the boxes that don't have lilac and lavender on it. And this one looks like it's gonna come with an extra white because there's a dot missing there. Ooh, exciting. All right, that's the Amazon code, isn't it? What does it say on it? it just says new Sanford Prisma colours. It has ex um, has exactly the same barcode number there. Scan with your transparency app. I wonder what that is. I'm going to do that. Hold on. Okay. Show options. Show full text. Oh, it's an Amazon. That's some kind of Amazon code thing. Doesn't do anything. No, it's just an Amazon probably warehouse code. So let's take that. Okay, it was over the polyphene. Right. One thing that a commenter said was, "Oh, it's got a label on it saying made in the USA, and they're not. They're made in Mexico." Um, this one doesn't have that. This one does not have that. But I would have thought back then they were. They would, they would have still been stickering them made in the USA even though they were made in Mexico. I don't think that was an odd thing that they... Because, I mean, why would you bother if you're faking the pencils to manufacture a sticker to go on the polythene that says made in the USA? Who knows? Anyway, I don't know how much you're going to see, so let's bring it down. I wanted to do it before I undid the polythene, but it might be better to undo the polythene. The box looks exactly the same. Let's get the polythene off of it. Apart from the sticker, as we've already said. Let's get... Whoop. Oh, I meant to... Okay, so... Soft core art lay down for shading, shading, artwork, soft core, soft core. Just looking at the font and seeing if it looks the same, it does to my my eye. Right, I'm gonna squidge down to actually let's bring the camera down. It says, maybe harmful if swallowed. Gold colour pencils contain copper. Keep it out of reach of children. Same thing in French. 
all the rest of it's the same. So all the rest of that is the same. Apart from this sticker, which is not removable, it will rip if it does. And this is obviously to cover up the fact that there are no longer PC 109 and PC 108 are both gone, and there's one missing. So this box has been used but been replaced. Okay. Okay, so these are the new ones. These with a squishy box are the old ones. Amazon Timu. Right. So one of the things I noticed is just like the other box, there is a lot of dust here. There's a lot of pencil dust there. Um, ooh, another thing that someone said to me was that they wasn't in the correct order. My Timu ones wasn't in the correct order. So if we bring the Timu ones down, you can see they were in the correct order. The only tray that wasn't in the correct order was this tray. And if you remember from the video, you saw that I lifted them. Um, there was all jibber jabber <laughs> all over the place um, where they traveled like that. So it's just, just try not to mix these up. So you can see they are in exactly the same order, both the new one and the existing one. So that isn't a telltale sign because they were in the same order or the right order. All right, let's have a look at these. Let's pick one that's... So this is Scarlet Lake from the Timo. And this is Scarlet Lake. Oh. <laughs> the wood on the... Timo ones feels better than the wood on the um, Amazon ones. These are really light, much lighter than those. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, so the top one is Timu and the bottom one is Amazon. And like I said in my original video, the printing on the Timu one is actually better than the printing on the Amazon one. The Amazon one is sort of like a messy overprinted kind of thing now they both say Mexico on them and then let's get to the tips okay look at the different in tips so everyone everyone mentioned about the way that the um, Prisma colors are sharpened with the shallow tip and these were print um, sharpened differently with regard to the wood the wood on both is a bit not fabulous. Look at the colour of those two though, they look totally different don't they and they're both scarlet lake. So that's the close up. What we also need to do now is the swatch and the swatch is going to take some time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the swatching. Uh, I have this swatch sheet. Um, I tried to get it all on one sheet which Oops, that's upside down. It means it's really difficult for me to see the names. It just about can. So I printed it on two. Now this sheet was from Colouring Bliss and because I tried to get it onto one sheet, I just co copied it and pasted it into one sheet. I think what I'm gonna do, I was gonna draw two lines, but I might draw three lines because basically, effectively, I've got three sets. I've got this Amazon set, I've got this Timu set, and then I've got the pencils that I've got originally. Now I don't have the 450 set of pencils. I'm going to use this bigger swatch sheet. I'm going to separate it into three. I'm going to draw the lines now and then I'm going to start swatching. Now I've got to swatch over 300 pencils. That is going to take a long time. So I'm not going to talk during it. I'm going to speed it up, but I may in the edit overlay some history um, of some bits and pieces that I have found out about Prismacolor in the last month that I've been researching this. So let us do the lines first of all and just try I mean it's I guess I try not to mix up the boxes the boxes are the same they are identical all right let's do the lines 
Let's get me Tim Holtz roll ruler out. Look, he's still got his label on it. How long has that been on there for? About nine. The glue's gone on it. That's how long that's been on there. Right. I want to do three lines. Okay, so what I've done is draw three lines. The top one is going to be the Timu. The middle one is going to be... Actually, the top one's going to be the Amazon. No, Timu. That's what we're more interested in. Top, middle, <laughs> top, middle, bottom. Right. The top one is going to be the Timu. The middle one's going to be the Amazon. And the bottom one's going to be the pencils that I already owned. So we can see how they compare all three colours. Like I say, so away we go. This is going to take some time. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to stop here because where lavender and lilac should be, I have a colourless blender and another white. Um, so this set doesn't have... So this is the set that came out after they sunsetted lavender and lilac and before the new colours came out. So those two are going to be missing... It's interesting, I'm going to talk for a second here, that people said to me, oh, the ones that you might get might be um, seconds, ones that are not good enough to be sold as Prismacolors. And, you know, the Timo ones that I had? <laughs> they are better than these. These are such... The colours are more off. The wood is split. The printing is rubbish. So whoever, if anyone is faking, making those fake Prismacolors, do your own pencils. They are better. Come out of the shadows. Make your own pencils. Or maybe they already are. Okay, back to the fast forward. Alright, ooh, I have swatched all the real Prismacolors from Amazon. And you know something, it's really weird. This is the first time I've ever seen a whole swatch sheet of all the real Prismacolors. Uh, there were a couple out of order, as you saw. So that got rectified as I was going along. So I did say I was going to do the Timu ones first, but I, thought I, I decided that the real ones, you know, should be at the top. Right, let's put that box to one side so I don't uh, dip into it and then get the other one out. All right, so we are going to be missing the hot pink in this one, unless it suddenly appears in the next <laughs> 24 hours. Here we go with the, oh, that's the second sheet. Here we go.
Yay! Done! Huzzah! All right, zoom you all the way out and get this nice and close. Someone said that when I do the comparisons, they're really blurry. They don't. I cut out all the blurriness. So if it's blurry, the resolution is probably low on your your screen. So turn your resolution up. So here we go. So cream, eggshell, gingeru, artichoke, deco yellow. Deco yellow looks a bit different. Lemon yellow, again, the lemon yellow in the Timu ones is a bit green. Canary yellow, canary yellow in Timu is a bit... Just notice canary spelt wrong there. Not my spelling. Um, is a bit darker. Sand, quite a bit darker. Mineral orange, darker. Okay, next row. Orange, see the difference, see the pumpkin orange there, how firm the bottom pencil is, poppy red, carmine red, a lot of the colours are very very similar, so a lot of people were saying oh the colours are so different, oh, pink is the one that I'm waiting to be sent back to me, okay next row, yeah a lot of people said the colours are so different, they're not they're very similar most of the colours. So pink, nectar, nectar, <laughs> nectar is a bit darker. Blush pink, pink rose again, as you can see it's sort of scratchier. Deco pinch, deco peach is a bit darker. Peach beige, I mean, looks green on this. But definitely a different colour, same with seashell pink. Right, like we say, top ones are from Amazon, middle ones are from Timu, chestnut, and a dark purple is totally a different colour. Obviously lavender and lilac doesn't exist in this newer set, I will compare them afterwards. Palmer violet, some of the colours, imperial violet looks a bit different. Next row. Indra throne blue, Inda, Indan throne, Indan throne blue looks a bit darker. Electric blue is a much nicer pencil in the Timu ones. Cerulean blue light, light cerulean blue. It's slightly different. Pink hot blue. Okay, next sheet, next row. Powder blue, periwinkle looks a bit different there. It's more denim-y in the hammers one. Blue slate, totally different looking. Parrot green, different looking. Grey green, the grey green in the Timu one is really greenier. Okay, next row. Yellow chartreuse. Chartreuse, lime peel, moss green looks totally different. Green ochre looks totally different. Looks like they should have re swapped the cores for them too. So green light is a bit different. True green a bit different. Grass green a bit different. Prussian green and olive green look the same in Prismacolor and they also look the same but different <laughs> in the Timu ones. Dark green and kelp green. Next O, sandbar brown. Okay, jade green looks different. Peacock green looks different. Next row. Espresso, dark umber. All the French greys look, uh, sorry, all the warm greys look similar. All the cool greys apart from Cool Grey 50. Well, cool Grey 50 goes like a real different shade of grey there. They're really nice cool greys in the Prisma colours and then a random 50% one there. Black. 
French greys look similar apart from that 30% it looks quite greeny slate grey a bit different the white I'm going to do on a black in a minute the metallic silver and bronze or the gold looks more like the yeah they just don't look as good and then the neons look pretty similar okay so that was the colour comparison against real prisma colours now what I was going to do is put down here I was going to put um my original colours but there's no need to do that the only ones I'm going to fill in are the ones that are missing so I don't know if I've got hot pink oh no I don't need hot pink hot pink is missing from the fake ones um, I'm going to put lavender and lilac in there from my existing set um, lavender and lilac where are you? here they are here no that's lilac and palmer violet where's lavender? is it there? it is as you can tell they've still got the sellotape on them from when I was doing the um, colours before so let's just fill those two in so lavender that's lilac so that's real prisma lilac and this is real prisma lavender so the Chimo ones are that's actually a nice purple it's quite similar to palmer violet to be fair and that's actually quite a nice pink but they're not the same as the lavender and lilac prismacolor ones just going to make sure that I I'm going to put real 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 so I remember in the future that the first line is the real ones like I say what I was going to do is put the pris my original ones in the bottom section but what I'm actually going to do is da 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 I bought in this Amazon box here <laughs> also not opened yet Ugh. avalanche the hundred and whatever it is set is it 136 156 the big set of the Artex so many people was telling me that oh, I love the Artex and this is even after I've said no more pencils but a lot of people are speculating that these are the same as the Timu nicely packed aren't they yeah big yellow <laughs> That tape's been on there a while. Okay, so they're in bubble wrap. Shenzhen Artex Tech Company. Interesting. They've got Artex on the name there now. And the UK representative is 51 Chowton Street, London. We could go and visit them as well. Hmm. 126 colours. Why is my thing zoomed in so much? Maybe it's always zoomed in that much. Now the reason why I decided to swatch these at the bottom is number one, I haven't swatched these yet, they're brand new. But the reason why I bought them is because they have the same names as the Prisma colours. I believe. Oh, do these smell? smell exactly like the castle arts and they smell exactly like the Timu fake prismas so I wonder what kind of order these are in I can do the silver interesting that the Artex already have barcodes on them I wonder if they are real barcodes though, or just no they are real barcodes so they're probably going to do these all um What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, there isn't a bronze, but there is a gold. All right, so I'm going to do this now. So you might want to come back when I have finished doing this.
that's interesting because the sand of the Artex is the same as the sand in the Timu Prismacolors but not the same as the real Prismacolor oh that's interesting that is interesting because the neon yellow in the Timu set was a really light paint job as opposed to the neon yellow so the paint outer paint work of the Artex I'm not sure you're going to see it maybe it's easier to see with the, the naked eye but that neon -y yellow is the one from real Prisma and then these two are both called neon yellow one from Artex and one from fake Timu Huh. Lavender. The Artex Lavender is really like the original um, Prismacolor Lavender. Lilac. However, the lilac is a bit darker than the original. Not quite as Mm, a bit more purpley than the uh, a bit more violet -y. Palmer violet dark purple well that's interesting because that dark purple is exactly the same as the Dark purple, fake Prismacolor dark purple, and real Prismacolor dark purple, which is a lovely colour and nothing like these two. True green. Is it though? No. Two to go. Ginger root. Very specific colour ginger root. Way more greeny. I say way more greeny. A bit more greeny. <laughs> and this one is lime peel. One of my favourite Prisma colour colours. There we go. Wow, okay, so that was me adding to the mix the Artex, Artex pencils that have the same matching names as the Prismacolors. Now there is quite a few that don't exist, Mineral Orange and Deco Orange, but let's just have a quick squeeze through. Now remember, the top ones are the real prisma colors that's the shell pink totally different color dark purple in the real prisma it's a beautiful colour isn't it okay next sheet a cloud blue <laughs> obviously wherever these are made their clouds are much greyer
still interested to see how different that middle grey is there in the 50%. Oops, sorry, I didn't focus on the black. All right, now we have done this, I am going to address some specific queries and questions about what people ask. The first one is, how does the white work on black? So let's get myself set up for that and I'll come back to you. Blimey O'Reilly, I had to dig around for that. Do anyone remember these? This, <laughs> this is a rusty pickle. Um, what's it called? Rusty Pickle. It was a scalloped mini album. Okay, let's let's get all the. Oh, here's my colour. Fake, real, in betweens, Artex. Ah, you know something I want to do as well. Okay, so question one: How do how do they smell? These don't really smell of anything. These are the new real prism colours. And then these smell really, really, really strong and they smell exactly like the Artex. <laughs> oh, this is funny, isn't it? So that top one is the Timu one and the bottom one is the real one. This is our text. We'll do another thing as well. We are going to measure seven four seven point four three millimeters on the real one. Seven point two eight on the team real one. 7.72, 7.71, oops, 7.71 on the Artex. Right, so real Prismacolor, Timu Prismacolor, so real Prismacolor pencil. Timu Prismacolor Pencil. Oh, this is a good test. Good test, people of the internet. And Artex. The Prismacolor Real White is much whiter. More crumbs out of the real Prismacolor as well. I know someone said that my the Timu ones were crummy. You know, lots of crumbs coming out, and that doesn't happen with real Prismacolors. It does. You can see. You can see there that the real Prismacolor is actually more crumbly, with more crumbs. You can also see that it's more opaque. Okay, test number one, and that is leading me towards the Timo ones being fake. Bing! One towards the fake. Okay, so that is the three white pencils tested. Now, I want to address, try to anyway, address everything that was asked in the questions. And one of the things that was asked in the questions was about the sharpening. So, this is a real Prisma colour. This is an Artex. This is the Timo Prismacolor. Now it's really difficult to see with the Primo, the Prima Prismacolor, Timo Prismacolor, because this, the white undercoat is not there. But what I want to do is I want to do the sharpening. Let's get a different color to the white. Let's get the aquamarine. Do do. Now, zoom it in. 
these are the two pencils together now a lot of people asked if I watched Sarah Renee Clark's video which I did and she compared these two pencils and she had a fake set of 72 and these pencils when they were put together did not have the same color on the outside at all and as you can see these two do on the outside have the same color okay so I'm going to sharpen both these pencils with this sharpener now in the last video I did sharpen the pencils but I took out the noise of me sharpening it because you know I don't want all of you to um, have to listen to that but for this one I am leaving it in so that you can all see that I sharpen the pencils that is the one of them <laughs> and this is the other one of them now what people wanted to see was if the wood was all crumbly and nasty or not and no it wasn't on neither of them now this is the Timo one because of the white you can see because of the white um, core so the test that I'm now going to do with these two pencils is a pressure test. I am going to press as hard as humanly possible and see, first of all, how much crumbles come out and how much I can press before breaking. Now I'm pressing full pelt there and that hasn't braked, broken. And then this that was the real one, and this is the Timu one. Again, full pressure, full thingy. And that's what they both look like after doing that on the full pressure. So the softest one should have worn down a bit more because it's so soft, but actually the Timo one wore down a little bit more now I was going to get there's a pressure test that they do in pencil factories actually let's just look at the crumbs before I do that now you can see both of them then colour shades are a little bit different but not as different as the ones on Sarah Renee Clark's video when she showed them and you can see there is just as many crumbles on either one. Now one of the things I was going to do, just get rid of those crumbles, was in a factory they pressurise, they put weight on a pencil, actually we want that in grams, they put weight on a pencil like this and press until it breaks. So I'm going to have to rewind that to see when that broke. Okay, so I wound that and I had a quick look and it broke at about 22. I mean, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put it on the screen and that was the Timu one, okay? So now I'm going to do the same with the real Prismacolor one. So, full pressure. And it broke around the same, but it broke differently. It sort of crumbled so you can see it's more softer cord i guess that you could say okay so that's how the two pencils broke differently i wish i had one of them machines where you could put stuff in it and it tells you what its composite parts are you can see that bit that's the timu bit it looks really hard see this one it looks more matte doesn't it and so it's got more clay in it and less whatever makes it hard okay let us put the scales away and do the next test okay so like I say I want to address all the points that people asked in the comments and also um, obviously I've already referenced the fact that I have watched Sarah Renee's Clark's video I actually watched it before I received these Timu pencils and the reason why I watched it was because 
I wanted to see whether fake pencils were a thing. And interestingly, Sarah Renee Clark's video put my mind at rest that they weren't a thing. <laughs> so it's unlikely that I was going to get fake Prismacolor pencils. Um, also in the video, um, her colours, you know, when she compared these two pencils together, the bodies did not match at all. And also quite a few of the colours that she put together didn't match. So her um, dark green didn't match. So where I've got the brown dots, her grass green didn't match. Her light umber didn't match. Her cloud blue didn't match and neither did mine. And also, where's another dot on there? Some more dots anywhere. Uh, they're the only ones I could see that she tested, I think. But not as many of my colours didn't match. So more of my colours matched between the two, the Amazon bought ones and the Timu bought ones. Um, the other thing that she showed is the uh, counterfeit ones had a really, really small core compared to a real one. And mine do not. So you can see here that both of them have about the same size core. They look identically sized core, to be honest, but they certainly do not have a smaller core, which was what Sarah showed with the fakes in her video. She also said the performance was notably different. I need to get another pencil out that's not broken now. So let's get this. Uh, blue slate and blue slate in the real one. Lovely. So these are both blue slate. Again, just compare them up so you can see that colour wise they do look about the same. And let me compare what they feel like together. I'm going to mix them up so I can't tell which is which. Okay, that feels fairly firm. And that feels firmer. Okay. <laughs> and the second one that I said felt firmer was the Prisma colour. If I had to have guessed out of those two, I'd have said that this one was the Prisma colour. And it's not. This is the when she said you can tell because they're nice and buttery. And you can tell a Prisma colour just by the feel. This is harder. This real true Prismacolor that I have bought from Amazon and it comes with the colourless blender and the white one is firmer and harder and not as nice and soft as buttery as this. So if this is not a Prismacolor, whoever's making these pencils, step out of the shadows and make your own pencils because these are lovely pencils. And I have also grabbed two more pencils. These are both pomegranate. So the wood colouring is a little bit different on these two. Can't see the white at that stage, can you? You cannot see the white undercoat. But I know there's a white undercoat under there. And look, look at the wood. Look at that wood. People are saying that. It's more splintery looking than Prismacolor. No, it's the same. It's a splintery. <laughs> okay, so this one, soft, buttery, nice. Firmer, definitely firmer, but not terrible, not terrible. And that, the soft, buttery, nice one in the red, or the pomegranate as it were, was the Prismacolor one. It's not as easy, not as straightforward as as Sarah Renee Clark said with the set that she was playing with. I need to put these to one side so I don't put them in the wrong boxes. Okay, so that was number one. Uh, number two was the counterfeit. Number three was the pap, um, performance was notably Britain. And number three was the white undercoat. Now, I've already referenced this once before already. And I'm going to sharpen this pencil again. Again, leaving me sharpening in, in it. So people can see that I do sharpen the pencils. Okay, so you can see the white undercoat there. And to me, that was the red flag. A lot of people have said the same thing. Sarah Renee Clark referenced it in her video. They had a white undercoat. A lot of people in the comments said, 
Prism real Prisma colours don't have a white undercoat. And then, the more the video was out, more people commented saying that theirs did have a white undercoat. And they had bought their Prisma colours from Dick Blix and Artorama and other art shops in, in America. And theirs did have a white undercoat. So now I was confused and I went and watched just about every Prisma colour review out there. And one of the things that I saw was there was a review about fake Prisma colours from Gem from the colouring colour cave or the colouring cave. I'll link her video down below and I'll link her channel down below. And she talks about she has a fake set of Prisma colours and she compares it with um with a real set. She buys a, a, a set of 72 and compares it. And one of the things she starts off by saying is Prisma will always send your pencils in colour order and the fake set that she had were not in colour order. And my Prisma colour pencils were in colour order. The only ones that weren't were the ones that had fallen out and I chucked back in any old way. The rest of them were exactly the same order as the 150 set I bought from Amazon. Um, and at 6.06 .06 on the video, I'm just going to put this literally 10 seconds of the video in here where she shows a factory sharpened Prismacolor in pink and as you can see it has the white undercoat. Here is a factory sharpened Prismacolor. So you can see what I'm saying by the, the amount of core that's showing and the fact that it is sharpened to a point and if I compare it with one of the ones that has come in this box. And she says that is a Prismacolor pencil that she bought. I don't know where she bought it from. Amazon maybe. I don't know. So I now don't know if the white undercoat is a red flag. So it's kind of like, is it fake? Is it not fake? They don't feel fake. So obviously the other thing that I needed to do was that I needed to contact um, Prisma Colour themselves. Because there's no point in me speculating without going to the horse's mouth and asking the horse. So I did contact them. I sent them pictures and I asked them on their feedback. Um, and they basically said that any time that anyone feels that their Prismacolor pencils are not performing, they would normally send them a replacement set. However, Prismacolor is not available. Uh, it's not Prismacolor, I'm gonna read it word for word so I don't get it wrong. Prismacolor is not made available in the European, Middle East and African marketplace. As a company, we are not legally able to supply, provide or distribute this product within this region. So, we in Europe, Middle East and Africa cannot buy Prismacolor pencils from Prismacolor. The only way that we get our pencils is when a third party distributes them and they distribute them to be sold in the UK. So for example, Amazon.com in America could buy 5,000 boxes of Prismacolor and some of them they could send into their UK warehouse. And that would be Amazon.com distributing them to the UK. Even though Prismacolor themselves can't, they have no control of what other companies do. I then queried this a little bit more and I asked them where the people who sell the open stock pencils would be buying them from if they're not buying them from Prismacolor. So the, the two or three companies in the UK that sell open stock, they, they cannot go and order them from Prismacolor. So they then sent me a list of their distributors, which are in all in America, where you can buy the products from. And that means that British companies can open an account with these American distribution companies, just like I used to when I had a scrapbook shop. I used to buy from American distribution companies. Then obviously buy the stock and sell them in the UK. Yet again, Prismacolor can't, but if you buy from a American distributor and have them shipped over here, you can circumnavigate that. Uh, I then asked them if uh, the company that I bought them from, because I didn't buy these from Timu. Timu is just a marketplace like Amazon and there are third party private sellers on Timu, same as Amazon. So I asked for the 
I asked if the company that I bought them from and I gave them their name and their address was a retailer, a retailer of their products. And their words were, we are also unable to distribute to China. We can only distribute Prismacolor products within the US and Canada. And that's due to the when Beryl bought Prismacolor, Eagle Company and all that kind of stuff. You know, one of them took the American market and one of them took the UK market. And Prismacolor already existed as a brand for someone else in the UK. And various other, you know, legal wranglings. Interesting story here. Let's go down a little rabbit hole. My nan, the original Lily, she used to work for the Eagle Paper, uh, Pencil Company in Tottenham. Here's a picture of the factory here where she used to work. And she worked there making pencils. And when she was <laughs> young, working there, uh, she in her arm, she had a piece of pencil lead. I know it's not lead, but you know, a bit of... That basically, she was sharpening the pencils one day. This is her story. And a piece of the lead broke off and sort of jumped out of the machine and embedded in her skin. And she still had that in her... All her life, when we were growing up, she used to have this little lump of, uh, you could see like a little grey <laughs> lump of pencil lead under her arm. But anyway, so my nan used to work at the Eagle Pi Pencil Company, which was the beginnings of, um, of Prismacolor pencils in Tottenham in the 1940s. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? 1930s and 1940s she worked there. Um, so then I, I queried some more, some other questions. And one of the things I queried was obviously the white undercoat. Now this is where things get a little bit confusing because initially the, their reply, they believed there was, I was talking about a white coating on the, on the core, which I wasn't talking about a white co uh, coating on the core. And they went into the core and all this kind of stuff. And I explained it was about the wood. In the meantime, while I was waiting for them to reply about this white undercoat, and they did reply eventually, after about three weeks, and I shall read you their reply in a minute, I looked into the wood and why there is a white undercoat on some pencils. Now, a lot of pencils, most pencils, most high-end pencils, are made of cedar wood. This is cedar wood. This is a piece of cedar wood. <laughs> and it's used to get rid of moths, to stop moths coming into your to your wardrobe. It has quite a distinctive smell. If you scrape it, it lets go some of its smell. And neither of these pencils smell like that. So I started looking to see whether Prismacolors were made of cedar wood. Because if you go on the Faber-Castell website, for example, and look up Polychromos, it talks about their sustainable forests in Canada with regard to their American cedar, or Canadian cedar, I think it is, that they grow um, for their pencils. And so I looked around on the Prismacolor website, and actually on their website, there is no reference to what the wood is of their pencils. Now, if you look further, deeper into the internet, there are reviews from on blogs from four, five, ten years ago of people referencing Prismacolors being made of cedar. But now, right now, today, on the Prismacolor website, there's no reference to what the wood is. Now, interestingly, the wood that is made, oh, the pencils in China, the wood that they use, the one that has that really strong smell, is ba base wood, B A W S. Double U double O D. Sounds funny when you're saying double W then double O. Basewood. And that's some kind of American pine, African pine. Uh, I'm not going to guess. And um, it says the when you buy brute funa pencils, it says they're made of basewood. When you when you buy Artex pencils, it says they're made of basewood. And these Prismacolor pencils, the Timu ones, smell the same, which made me wonder. Are they made of basewood? Now park that, put a pin in that for a minute and keep that little bit in your brain, right? I'm still waiting at this point to find out from Prismacolor whether they've ever put this white coating on it. And in the meantime, the other thing that I did is I contacted someone that I was in contact with last year. Now last year, I was trying to find 
um, the manufacturer of the Brute Vuna pencils because I had just discovered in September last year that the, the, the squares and the rounds that I had seemed like the same core and I wanted to know from the horse's mouth as I always said if you want to know the answer go straight to the horse and ask the horse so I actually um, went through quite a, quite a few different places and eventually got to speak to the manufacturer of a pencil manufacturer let's just say a pencil manufacturer in China and they come back to me now a lot of this information I was actually going to use in a video with regard to the brute Funa pencils which I've never made at this point um, they come back to me and said yes we're the manufacturer of the brute Funa pencils and it was an it was an online chat that we were having um, so like a kind of um, like a messenger sort of chat thing and they came back to me and said yes we're the manufacturer of the brute Funa pencils we manufacture these 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 and the picture that they put up next was a set of 72 prismacolor pencils and then I carried on <laughs> with some other pencils kind of thing and I, and I was like whoa, 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 whoa hold on a second do you make prismacolor pencils and they said yes and I said I thought prismacolor were made in Mexico and they said we make fake prismacolors but we only make a set of 72 and so I queried it vice versa various things that chatted about it now this is one of the reasons why I cannot give the name of this company because they make fake fake prism colors so when I saw Sarah Renee's Clark's video which was around the same time as that it was probably about a month later and it's her video started off saying that fakes don't exist I was thinking they do <laughs> because I was spoken to the company that make them and then obviously she got to the point that there was fakes around because she got sent that tin of 72 and I was thinking, yep, I know who makes those. Um, so I kind of knew that there were sets of 72 fake pencils out there. So when I got this set of 150 and I wasn't sure, I went back and contacted that same person. And I contacted them and I said, do you make 150 Prismacolor pencils? And they said, no. They actually said, we do not make Prismacolor fake pencils at all anymore. They only stick to the brands, the brands that are all out there on Amazon that we all think are made by the same factory. They stick to those brands. <laughs> um, they no longer make fake Prismacolors. And I said, do you know who makes the 150 set of fake Prismacolors? And they said, they're not manufactured in China. <laughs> so now I'm really confused so I mentioned about the white undercoat and this is the information that I got when they use base wood it is a softer wood and if they put the color on first it soaks into the wood too much and so what they do they want a true representation of the color and as base wood is soft they put a white undercoat first and then they put two coats of the colour on it which means it doesn't soak into the wood quite as much. Now that's interesting when you kind of look at this real Prismacolor and this Timu Prismacolor because you can see the paint has actually seeped into the wood on the on the real Prismacolor but what, what that guy said to me is true. The one with the undercoat there's no seepage of the colour into the wood. Would make sense. So maybe if they've started using a softer wood, a wood that's more absorbent, that that's why that they have the undercoat on them. And the undercoat is due to the fact that they've moved away from using cedar wood. It's a possibility. So, but at this point, I'm still waiting for the answer <laughs> from Prismacolor. So I chased them, then I went away on holiday, and then when I came back, they had replied. This is their full reply. We appreciate your interest in learning more about the Prismacolor coloured pencil white coating that can be seen prior to the final coating of paint of the product. Our goal is to provide our consumers with the highest quality of service. So let me answer this question for you. 
We did further search and due to proprietary constraints, we are unable to get you the information that you need as this is one of the materials used and part of the composition of the coloured pencils. Now that is a really wordy kind of sentence that really doesn't say anything. And I've read it one of two ways. Either, I mean, <laughs> they literally say, um, you're learning more about the white coating that can be seen prior to the final coat of paint, as though they're aware it exists. Um, then they say, we did further search and due to proprietary constraints, we're unable to get the information that you need, i.e. they're not going to tell me because it's a trade secret to do with Prismacolor. But they finish off by saying, and it is part of the composition of the coloured pencils, as in, yes, it's part of the composition of the coloured pencils. So I'm not sure <laughs> if that is yes, our pencils come with a white core, or no. But like I said, is it because they've switched to a softer wood, or did at some point soft switch to a softer wood and try it? And here's where I'm going to finish on this. Did they at some point switch to a softer wood and try it? So while I was speaking to my man in China, he came up with this information. I have it printed out, so let me refer to it. I'm actually going to read it to you, <laughs> exactly the words that he said it to me, because obviously his, Eng his English is way better than my Chinese, but he's still Chinese. Okay, the pen barrel is made of pine wood. These are American brand with rough workmanship. Uh, these coloured pencils are all purchased from the United States. They are produced in Mexico. The pencil barrel is made of pine wood and some barrels may crack or bend but does not affect use. These are American brand rough workmanship. Which kind of implies they bought test runs of pencils made of pine um, let me scroll to the next bit these pencils are shipped directly from the United States to China the colored lead is made in Mexico and then finally there's a picture that I was sent <laughs> uh, which I'll overlay on here of the pencils being taken off the shelves off of Amazon and basically sent to China. So now, I don't know if I've answered any questions at all. The place that makes the 72 pencil, fake pencils, have told me that they didn't make these. These are not the same as the 72 fake pencils that you've seen on Sarah Renee Clark's and Gem the Colouring Caves videos. These aren't quite the same as real prisoners, the real Prisma colours that you've seen me comparing to, but they're also not terrible. And so have they, were they, a trial run? where they used a different wood that smells differently, but they have the same cores, the same core size in them. And because they was a base wood, they got dipped in wood, you know, a soft, piney type wood. They got dipped in a colour, first of all, so that the paint didn't absorb too much in the wood. And if that's the case, are these a trial run were these a trial run from a number of years ago this is from supposedly from a number of years ago possibly the same time as when do you remember when amazon was selling them for 65 pound a box and everyone was buying them perhaps it's from them so i asked one more question <laughs> one more question of prismacolor which was regard to what do you do with pencils that don't meet the grade you know that are seconds if you were interestingly though I say that I found that the Timo Prismacolors are as good if not actually better <laughs> quality than the actual Prismacolor pencils and their words are with regard to Prismacolor pencils not meeting the quality standards these products are properly properly disposed 
disposed following the implemented recycling program. We do not resell defective products to the consumer. Yeah, you might not sell it to the consumer, but you might send it to a recycling program in China that then sells them. Look, this is all speculation. This is all me not really knowing the answer still. But all I do know is if you are in America and you can buy Prismacolor pencils from Dick Blix or Artarama or Amazon for £90, go and buy them. Don't go on and buy the Timu ones and be undecided. I'm in the UK. In the UK, this set of pencils from Prismacolor costs a hundred from Amazon costs a hundred and ninety eight pounds. From Timu, it cost me seventy one pounds. It's a massive saving. I didn't know that I was going to open such a can of worms. I didn't know that I was going to... I thought they was going to be either obviously fake and I was going to send them back or they was going to be a bargain and I was going to keep them. I've kept them because right now, right this moment in time, I still don't know. <laughs> so, there you go. Fake or real, It's there's so much ambiguity. Like I say... I spoke to the people in China who make fake pencils and they told me they did not make these. <laughs> um, so, there you go. I don't know what else to say. I think I've covered just about everything that people said. I've sharpened them, I've shown you the white, I've shown you all the other diff different bits and pieces. Maybe they're not quite as good quality as Prismacolor, but they're not bad. So, thanks very much for watching and I'm really sorry if this didn't answer your questions. But <laughs> I don't know what, who else to ask and where else to go. So thanks very much for watching and take care. Bye. If you're still watching this and you really want to know what I think, I think they're big fat fakes. <laughs>